guys, I handed in my assignment yesterday. Yay! <laughs> I tried to film this video yesterday after I handed it in and I watched what I had recorded and I just looked exhausted and miserable so we're not going to use that footage so I thought um, quickly before I go to work today I would let you know how it all went so I finished the chapter there's some spreads that I'm really not happy with and then there's some spreads I'm really proud of I really poured my heart and soul into this project so hopefully you'll see that in my drawings so if you watched the part one of this graphic novel series you'd know like what the story's about it's like a, I'm writing like a fantasy graphic novel about a young girl that gets kidnapped and taken to like a or we'll just call it like a parallel universe for now but this chapter is chapter three of eight I think and it is probably the darkest chapter, but I get to introduce all the main characters in it. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, if you wanted to watch my previous video, you'd see that I made like a little dummy book. Um, and I had some book planning and some ideation and some character designs. So now I'm going to show you the next step, which was literally me doing the paintings for the 12 spreads. So we've got the opening spread where she wakes up in the cupboard and um, feels around when she looks out of the cupboard. I'm really happy with this one. I think Cardia's character is like really strong um, and like this the general texture. Ink is really like is really fun and then when she sees the monster for the first time like the ogre Ink is really great for doing lots of tiny textures as well. I feel like if I did ended up doing this in pencil, I literally would have just collapsed and died. Um, and then her running back into the cupboard again. I'm really happy with like how I've used the light, like you know, watering down the ink. It was a really fun um, experiment. And I ended up actually going in and doing little like white highlights with gouache paint as well just to like bring some bits out hearing her clinking in the cupboard turning going to open the cupboard and then like a spell um taking over him and him going to sleep and then she's having a panic attack in the cupboard and then she realizes that she's actually safe and she can escape the cupboard and then her sneaking out to this door and then finding this window and climbing up to the window and then her looking out in the window and being like, oh my god, what's happening? Because there's a battle happening outside. I left this side till last because I knew it would be really like emotionally hard to do because, you know, it like the story like really resonates with me and this is like a really like sad, scary part of the story where all these little creatures are dying and then there's this really awful scary monster so there's that and then when she's seeing looking up at the sky and then I'm really proud of this one as well I'm really happy with how like the fur texture turned out and I definitely want to like redo a bunch of the spreads or you know in the future like focus the spreads using this kind of um texture that would be amazing um this one I'm not happy with at all, but I, I'm really glad I experimented with yeah this like mountain side wall like vibe and going back in like with the white highlights. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not happy with how I drew them, but at the end of the day like I had like a really strict time schedule to get this done, so I just went ahead and just was I finished it. And then this is the last spread where she falls out of the mountain into the battlefield. And yeah, I'm, I'm slowly like becoming more comfortable drawing like landscapes. And um, cause I've never like, yeah, I've never drawn, I never really draw or paint backgrounds ever. So this was um, a really huge learning curve, let alone I've never used ink before, but I knew that I would be okay. I don't know, cause I'm just, blindly confident sometimes. I then wrote all the text and I went through my script um, and kind of just 
like there's some things that aren't that I didn't end up using but I just went through and wrote almost too much and repeated things a few times just to make sure that I've got the texture right so like some of them like I did them like really like thin and then others I did really thick and textured and then um, others I did kind of like boxy square and then a bit more like slashy and I'm really happy with how like this one here turned out yeah I'm really happy with how this one turned out I love that like the shape and the texture and the water in the and the ink kind of like split over it um so one thing I'd like to say is that I found the dummy book so helpful I literally referred to this probably every hour that I was working on this because I was always like okay what's next okay what's next or um, you know just counting out what number spreads I'm up to or, or what I've got to go back and work on more or if I have time to redo it. The only ones that I redid a couple of times were this one. I thought I wanted to do something like this where it was almost like you were looking at it from like above and it was like a but then I was like that's a bit too cutesy or like you I don't think you can really tell that they're in like a mountain even in this I don't think you can tell they're in a mountain but that's okay like I'm gonna go back and explore that and then the other one I did again this was my second attempt um when this was my first attempt like what what is happening here like I don't know I think I just was so I was so nervous about doing the landscapes that I just like was like bah! and just like randomly chucked ink on paper so then anyway so then I scanned my paintings and I scanned my text and then I photoshopped them together and then I originally I wanted to add heaps of colour throughout the whole chapter but I actually ended up not using any colour but red in a couple of the spreads just to make it look really like scary so I'll show you some of the spreads now like I'll show you the spreads that are done that I'm really happy with so for instance this the first spread here I'm really happy with how that I'm not dead text turned out. I kind of like how they're kind of placed on top. They're white so they really stand out and they're playing with that and um, the light and tone and stuff. And then the next one I was really happy with was probably her peeking out. I think I'd like to redraw him or like kind of reshape his head or something like that. But I really like like the how the text came out. And I like how on the, on the right hand side it's like am I going to be this monster's dinner? It's kind of like it doesn't come across like speech, it comes across like thought, like it's just like gentle and soft, I don't know. I think it comes across that way anyway. The scene where he um, hears her clink and like he turns around and goes to reach for the cupboard, I photoshopped the, his back head lighter so it was almost kind of obvious that he was going from awake to asleep, so I hope that comes across that way. So a spread that I'm not 100% about but I'm happy with like how like the layout and the proportions came, a came out was this one where she's having a panic attack in the cupboard and remember in my last video I said I wanted to do like layers of text of like like sad, scared, uh, anxious text all layered on top of each other um, so that's what all these like scribbles in the background and the corners are. I feel like as a concept it works but I don't think it like fits the rest of the set so you just let me know what you think. Okay so then I added red for impact in the battle scene and yep this is a really intense spread but I really want for the reader they're looking through this book and like you know it's all gonna be like sepia or black and white for the whole thing and then you turn to this page and it's just this red like this this just like blood red this angry sad like hor horror red I definitely want to redraw the animals 
um, but again, time constraint. And then the last spread that I'm really happy with would be, yeah, the where the wolf confronts her. You must understand you're here for a reason. And then she runs and he says, wait. So I'm really happy with how that text came out. It's kind of thrown on the top there, but it makes sense that it's like coming from him and he's almost not speaking it. It's like in their heads. But um, yeah, that's my update. While I was painting, I was like, oh, maybe I should have recorded some of me actually painting and layering up everything. But let me know if you guys want to see that or like, what do you want to see? And like, little updates. I don't know. I don't really know how much to show you, how much to keep secret. Don't really know. But what I eventually would really love to do is maybe do a Kickstarter campaign, like in the first couple of months of next year and I could I'd love to have a printed book with like a printed hard copy textured book but also maybe do like some t-shirts or uh, pins or uh, like just like art prints as like some of the rewards because that would just be really fun to do and like I could just do the characters as like prints but make them look really cool even if you don't know what characters they are or their story like they just like I'd love to do like a couple of like wolf prints or like yeah like the monster prints or something that'd be really cool I don't know let me know what you think I'd love to do something with this. I feel like, why not? I I'm really enjoyed doing this project. It really pushed me. Let me know what you think. And um, when I'm posting this, I will be in Japan. So expect some get ready with me's, some Japan lookbook, I don't know, or uh, definitely like a haul of the things I have bought. Just like trying Japanese food with my boyfriend or yeah. But yeah, I'll um, see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you want, this is the first time I've ever asked this, if you wanted to subscribe um, and tag along on this weird graphic novel journey that I'm on, that would be really cool. And yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think if I like got the vibe right. If you like the text, if you like how the characters turned out, like, let me know what you think. Um, and I really appreciate all the feedback that you guys gave me last time. I really appreciate all the little, like, referrals to things I should read or watch. Um, I still gotta watch all the movies that you guys told me to watch. And, yeah, so thank you so much. Bye!